Hey, what's going on? It's, it's, I know it's been a little while. Been a little busy, tied up. Um, it's crazy times we living in, man. No, I actually was going to talk about something else that somebody had asked me to talk about. I'm going to double back and I'm going to talk about that, though. But I feel like what happened yesterday is far more important that, that we really got to build on. You know what I'm saying? We all know that there's two Americas. There's probably more than two Americas, to be honest. There's probably like three or four Americas. You know what I'm saying? You got your, you got your, um, one, you want to have a certain America for people that's native born here, whatever the case may be, right? Then you're going to have an America based off of the color of your skin. If you're black or brown. You know that's a different America. If you're um, an illegal alien here, you know that's a different America. You know what I mean? If you if you're an immigrant, even if you get naturalized or whatever, you you know you go through the process and you see that once again it's a different America. But it's crazy that if you're even if you're a uh, a fair color immigrant. That's the word I'm going to use for now. Um, America is still better for you than a black or brown person that was born here. And that's ill. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to fathom and, and rationalize. The false narratives that America tells the world right that's one of the problems I have with America America is so quick to lend resources or go overseas to somebody and try to tell them how to run their country and try to promote democracy and instill democracy into a government or whatever the case may be and America hasn't even got it right in its own hair like it's not even right here so how you gonna go and that's one of the biggest things that I don't know how many of y'all actually traveled across the pond somewhere, but that's one of the biggest complaints, chief complaints that people around the world have, especially the places I've been anyway, with America, the hypocrisy. You know, I, I can't I can't understand. I can't I can't wrap my mind around how what happened yesterday was able to happen. Right? 45 since mid-December, I want to say like the 15th, 16th or something like that, has been telling his loyal followers or whoever these people are that there's going to be a big rally in Washington, D.C. on the 6th of January. Be there, be wild, get busy. Pretty much get them something to remember that we was here. Right? The level of police presence or lack thereof was mind blowing. Like, there's really no other word that I can fit to describe. You know, it's, it's, it's completely mind blowing, man. How they're able to penetrate multiple perimeters. You know, you got an outer perimeter, you got a middle perimeter, you got an inner perimeter, and then you got a, a door, like the steps door that had a whole nother layer of protection or layer of people, so to say. So how were they able to penetrate all these entry points? It's beyond me. Now, I do know on one end that if there was a video circulating where it looked like the cop had, the cops, there was like three or four cops that were like, that they pretty much opened the barrier and told them to come and let them come in. I don't look at it so much as that as more as they were overwhelmed. And it was a case of either we going to go through you or you going to let us in because it's not enough for you. So I think he made a business decision and said, you know what? They don't pay me enough. <laughs> One way or another, they're going to get in here because we don't have the proper manning, uh, proper support. 
Now let's talk about the manning and support thing. How is it that this is Thursday, January 7th, right? If Black Lives Matter or whoever else matters or whatever, somebody gets shot that down the streets by a cop or whatever, and they say, we're going to march to D.C., we're going to be by the Washington Monument on January 9th at noon. Everybody be there. Let's, let, let's march peacefully, reform, let them know this is wrong, we're not standing for it, whatever the case may be, Right? Man, it's going to be, man, they're going to call in resources ASAP, early. The resources are going to be there early. Soon as that thing come out, soon as that promotion come out, they're going to be on the phone with Virginia State Police and or, or whoever they need support from Virginia. They're going to be on, they're going to be on the phone with Maryland State Police or whatever support they can get from Maryland. They're going to have the D.C. National Guard. They're going to have, they have Bureau of Prisons officers at the last Black Lives Matter march in D.C. I ain't no borough of prisons even got down with that kind of stuff. I mean, they federal sworn officers. I get that. But they have borough of prisons officers as part of that contingent to, to, to ensure that they can maintain orderly and peace in Washington, D.C., man. So you can't help but feel this is some racist, motivational tactics that they're using man like it, it ain't it ain't it ain't even debatable at this point at this point it's not even debatable like they fell catastrophically like it doesn't matter on the nature of the rally or the nature of the protest or whatever the case may be their job is to be proactive and secure and ensure the security of federal buildings, especially a federal building as important as the U.S. state, as, as the U.S. Capitol building, where you had an open session. You had an open session with the House and the Senate trying to certify the election. Then they conducted official business. Every member of Congress was in D.C. yesterday. Even more reasons why they sh I don't understand Even more reasons why you can't even understand How this happened man How somebody is sitting on the desk Of the house speaker Nancy Pelosi Right and we will not back down Taking selfies on her desk It's mind blowing man Even with I don't support him I don't agree with him but even Mitch McConnell They did the same thing to his office man And they white but had they look like me or been me, man, I got carried out in the gurney. They would have burn me on the, they'd have burnt me on the lawn, man. They would have killed me and burnt my body on the lawn, man. This is crazy, man. You had peaceful. I I need y'all to go and find them still pictures of those officers that positioned on the U.S. Capitol building on the steps, the same steps that they had took over yesterday. They had officers lined up on the Black Lives Matter rally this summer. They had them lined up, man, riot gear, full tactical, all that. All that, the full tactical and everything. Like, so how, so how you telling me that Because it's a uh, a rally organized by 45, I guess, and his loyalists that or oh, ain't gonna be no drama. He been inciting drama for four years. Anybody with a half a brain could have seen this coming. And I personally don't really think it's over. It's the same thing I put on, I, I made a post yesterday on I said, man, clip up. Y'all know what time it is, man. You know what I mean? Like, you know what time it is. If you don't know what time it is, then you you sleeping with your eyes open, man. You utterly retarded if you can't see what time this is, man. There's no way rationally, humanly possible that yesterday was happened, was able to happen at all. There's no way. There is no way that that makes sense. 
and I keep reiterating, we seen how they were to, uh, towards us. And our situation was peaceful, man. We clashed with people out there to, to cause chaos. We wasn't clashing with the police. People was cussing out the police, asking them, y'all know y'all wrong, especially those black officers. Like, how can you stand with them? Which, I mean, I, I get the anger and frustration over that, but I also get that they got a job to do. They sworn officers, man. Like, I know what it's like to be in a position under official duty where you somewhere you really don't want to be there because you don't because you don't believe in in the um the cause. You don't believe in the reason. You know it's false narratives, man. And, and that's very it's a catch twenty two. You know what I mean? It's a tough situation to be in. But I don't want to go off on that tangent, but like I said, we seen how they were towards us, man. Gassed us, flash banged us. Beat us up. You know what I mean? It was a 25-year-old woman in Philly, man, that they drug out of the car. The police, like five, six officers, man, they drug her out of the car. Her, she got like a three-year-old baby in the, in the back. They drug her out of the car, man, and beat the brakes off her. You know what I'm saying? They beat the brakes off of this woman, man, after dragging her out of her vehicle with her baby in the back. You know what I'm saying? And then they look like, oh, we, they animals. Y'all treat us like animals, man. Y'all treat us like less than, man. How you expect for people to to conduct themselves and if they know that it's already a us versus you mentality before they open their mouth? I mean, I just can't, I just can't imagine what would have happened, man. You would have seen a thousand bodies on them steps, man, had they been black yesterday, they would have started spraying, man. They would have started spraying. They wouldn't ask nothing, man. That I'm saying the stuff about, oh, they shot the lady through the window, through the door, blindly. That wasn't blindly. She willfully, illegally entered multiple perimeters and breached a federal building that she was supposed to be in, man. What are you talking about? She breached a federal building in an open congressional session. But while an open congressional session was being conducted, man, she willfully did that. Nobody made her go in there. She willfully entered that building. I may be bugging, y'all may look at me tripping, but it probably should have been more laid down. Because if that was us, we all would have been laid down. We wouldn't have been in no um, um, prone position. Where people standing around us holding hammers. We would have been in a pro position dead, man. That's all fact, man. All fact. That's the way we would have been, man. So how is it they act like monkeys and animals and nothing happened to them? We not really doing nothing but standing up for fighting for equal rights and equal liberties and just to be able to walk down the street in peace. But we get treated like monkeys and animals. They handle us as such. And for somebody somewhere, that makes sense, man. That's wild. I can't. I mean, I, I've already been. If you, if y'all, I mean, a couple of videos I already made early. Y'all didn't really pay attention to like that, but I've already been looting to this kind of stuff happening, man. Like it's cool to 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 break down what's going on in this beef and that beef, but y'all need to get in tune with what's really going on out here, man. It's bigger stuff than this rapper mad at this rapper going on out here, man. Y'all really need to get in tune with that, man. I know drama sells. I know drama get people attention. People love the drama. People love the wreck. I get all that, man. But I know most of y'all who watch my videos got kids out here, man. Little brown and black boys, man. Little brown and black girls, man. I kick, I kick stuff way deeper than who beefing. Real rap is deeper than that over here, man. And you know, I, I, I'm going to give it up with the safety off, no silencer, no vessel. I'm going to give it to you raw, man. Like, authentic, 100% to the oils, man. Nothing else. 
That's all I know how to be, man. But we really need to get in tune what's really going on out here. Because there's some real stuff going on here. We gonna Y'all going to get caught up in the wash if y'all ain't paying attention, man. But I am going to, I had a request to do a video. I'm still going to do the video, whatever the case may be. I just had to, I had to, I had to do this one first, man. That's right here. Like I said, that's way more important than what's going on in the rap world and, 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 and why somebody getting blackballed or something, something like that. This is far way more important, man. Um, Check my videos, like, subscribe to the page, like the video, comment, tell me your feelings. Tell me if it's something else that y'all like to see me touch on. You know what I mean, like I said, I got one, I got one request in the chamber that I gotta let go. Um, but like I said, like, subscribe, share, comment, get at me. I'll be back in a minute.